It's Madden NFL 23, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Cards and the Saints, and it comes your way next. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the Arizona Cardinals and the New Orleans Saints. Everybody, alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off we go. Fields it right around the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by a three-time Pro Bowler, owner of over 35,000 passing yards in 11 seasons, the veteran Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. Dalton going to throw right away. On oh, a slant complete to Michael Thomas. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. All-pro receiver Michael Thomas missed all of 2021 while recovering from an ankle injury. But we'll never forget that he set an NFL record in 2019 with 145 catches. When healthy, borderline unguardable, just like he was on that play. the 34 now here's first and 10 passing it's Dalton looking left side that's caught by Landry and they're going to get this up to midfield pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two he's now locking in on just one target early as he's spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started back to back first downs to back good plays have them on the move on first down from midfield here Dalton that is holding by Michael Thomas and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it the big gainer there on the catch and run 37 yards Brandon we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame Defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. 
But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes the starch right out of them. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Dalton operating in the red zone now. Got a man and he hits him in stride. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a safe touchdown. Alvin Kamara, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Saints will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. Five plays there on that drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Well, here comes Kyler Murray in his fourth NFL season leading this Cardinal offense. Already a two-time Pro Bowler in his time with Arizona. Kyler Murray had his Arizona Cardinals cruising in 2021, leading them to 11 wins despite sharing a division with both of the NFC title game participants. It was also Arizona's first playoff appearance since 2015. Like his team, Murray's improved each of the last three seasons and would have set career highs across the board had he not missed a couple of starts. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Murray to run again. And some room to work. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free and off he goes. And defensively, you're going to have some guys with hands on hips looking to the heavens right now. You've got a fairly clean shot at the quarterback here, but he's able to worm his way out of that initial contact. And not only that, 
He's able to hop foot it downfield for good yardage. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next gen stats. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35 yard line. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now a man in his second season in a Cardinal uniform. Here's James Conner. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the back carrier. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Here's Murray. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. I'm not quite sure how he wasn't able to hold on to that one in the end zone. A great opportunity lost, but a lot of relief for the defensive guys. When they get into film next week, they're going to want to know what happened. Where was the breakdown that almost allowed a touchdown? And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And we'll get this one underneath to Kamara. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Here's Dalton. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Blake Gilligan on the punt now on fourth down. Greg Dorch back deep. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line of beauty. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Mm, nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they showed confidence in their defense by punting it away. now on first down and he is not going to get away the rush was too strong and this is going to wind up a safety well I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one pinned him deep and the defense comes through with two points you're exactly right partner this was all set up by a great punt and if the ball goes in the end zone this never happens so great call give the punt team and the punter some love
And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Now Callaway on the return. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Dalton. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. Their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Here's Dalton. Alave holds it in. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 47. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They run it again with Kamara. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. two-minute mark in this first half of action. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And Dalton to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Dalton now to pass. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing. Dalton. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he is going to have a Saints first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. 
got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. This will be Dalton again. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. To throw on second and ten, Dalton. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That's a big force in completion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Andy Dalton. Buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. From the left hash, this from 39. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So when you factor in the safety, this now a five-point swing. And look, I'm not going to turn away a five-point swing because five points, that's valuable. Don't get me wrong on this, but if they could have taken that safety and added seven to it, now you're talking about a really big swing. across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line well the cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half they're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half a field goal or something being shut out right now they can really use some momentum before they head into halftime First and ten, here's Murray. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the 28, it's second and five. Murray now to throw. That pass complete to Moore. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. down Murray to the sideline and wow what a catch there he doesn't get a lot but he was able to get the feet down complete so the completion good for just three and it'll be second down they should have got more out of that though he was wide open I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking wide open in the flat 
Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Couple of Oklahoma teammates there. Murray to Brown for a Cardinal first. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Murray. And this will be swung out here for counter. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. So we come upon halftime in what's a 12-point game at the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Arizona. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. in the third quarter. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Murray going to throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. 
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Murray a give. This is Connor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. The defense is ready for the back to look out and even have a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to double in the back, you better for better completion. But give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. Turn it into a successful play. Throwing now is Murray. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Like any team play, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Cliff Kingsbury here on fourth down trots out the field goal unit from the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And that will keep this a 12-point game. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. To throw here, Dalton. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Trying the left side with Kamara. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From midfield here, Dalton gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Three quarters in the box. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. So from the 36 now, first and 10. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. They juked him. 
This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Play action now, Dalton. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's Dalton. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he is going to have a Saints first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. A tenth carry for Kamara. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the night. And the Saints have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. to try to end the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that would a 13-play drive in total. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run.
touchdown wants to kick it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time, down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Murray now on first down. Over the middle here to Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want five. And yeah, this is taken in at the five. A huge play there for Arizona, 49 yards. Well, that's something you haven't had to talk about much this game, a nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. To throw is Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Cardinals are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point right down the middle. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. The Cardinals say they have it. They do. Arizona recovers. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Murray. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. 
So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.